Hey guys, and then came to Master Doe here, and uh, I've decided to do a weekly or whenever I want to um, just talking in front of the microphone because I want to and because I'm a bit bored and I just want to discuss it. Well, not discuss, just talk and more talking. So, uh, you know, what to talk about? <laughs> um, oh, most of the time, instead of going on my television, I watch YouTube videos. That's why I joined YouTube. And I once have stumbled onto videos that have a cell phone playing a certain song using just the normal um, dial sounds so um, these are pretty interesting and one day I was bored so I tried to do it with um, I tried to make a song well not a song I tried to do the song uh, Dr. Wily's stage 1 and 2 of Mega Man 2 so far, it's kind of messed up. Not messed up, but <laughs> I don't have the complete song written out. But, you know, my cell phone can do that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's one thing. I hope this doesn't sound too boring. I just want to do it. No, I use a Mac, but every time, so Macs aren't that good with games, and I'm a gamer, but I've I've learned to uh, cope with its non-game in this, and there are a few games for the Mac that are pretty compatible and are interesting enough to keep you occupied for a long time. For example, there is Minecraft. You can get a game called Minecraft that has been increasing with popularity for about, I don't know, um, a year now. And Minecraft is interesting enough so that you can play this for a few months. I haven't been playing it for months, I got bored strangely, but it is a game that I could always go back to and play because it is interesting enough to play for a long time. There is also emulators, like there are Mac emulators out there so I could play um, Earthbound or Star Fox for the SNES. And there's also Steam games. Uh, Valve has started to release some games out for the Mac, and I only have one game, but it's one of the best games I've ever played, and that's Team Fortress 2. I can't get bored with this game, I just keep going back to it every day, and I can't get bored, it's one of my most favorite games of all time now. Still not beating Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike is my most favorite first-person shooter ever, but Team Fortress 2 there's just almost everything you and usually I play I don't play on an objective server like I don't play on a control point server or a payload server or a king of the hill server I play on a non achievement achievement server that may sound strange at first but I play on the server that is using an achievement map which in this case it's achievement engineer and yet no one is trying to get achievements instead they're just screwing around with the other players like spies are backstabbing snipers who are on the towers headshotting the heavies who are trying to spawn camp and kill all the spawning engineers who are trying to build their sentry on the spawn so they can spawn kill as well and it's always interesting there there's different kinds of people with uh, 
microphone so you can always talk to them. And it's really interesting to just go there, hang out, and play Team Fortress 2. And the best part is you don't have to do any specific objective. You don't have to capture the flag if you don't want to. You don't have to capture control points if you don't want to. Like, you do have those options. You can capture flags and capture control points, but you don't have to. It's an option. I have some of the most fun and the most challenging things I do on that server. It's really fun, but that's why Team Fortress 2 is so interesting because not only do you have a community of people with interesting personalities, but you also, you can do, some servers you can do anything you want, and there's always a new kind of weapon set you can try, or a new combination of weapons you can use, or some kind of new feature for a class, or you get a, n a new hat, or you're crafting a new hat, like, there's always something. I like this game more than Minecraft, just because Minecraft is kind of repetitive. Yeah, you know, there's always something to do, but it's... You're, you're mining materials, mining materials, crafting, crafting, mining more, mining more, crafting, more, crafting more. That's why I got bored of it. I mean... I'm gonna play it again, but uh, it's not my first choice if I had to play a game, it would be either Team Fortress 2 or Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah. So there are games for the Mac. There's also a lot of EA games like Spore and The Sims 3. And the only problem I have with my Mac is that it gets overheated so easily when playing games. If you can hear the sound, that's the sound of my ice packs. I have, I keep ice packs up here just for gaming. I mean, I usually put them in the freezer. I haven't put it in the freezer this time. But I have to use these ice packs in order to actually play so that my computer won't slow down. And for some odd reason, Every time my computer gets hot, it slows down substantially. And that's just not good. I can't play my games that way. It's hard to play my games that way. So I use these ice packs. And that's my only problem with the Mac so far, is that it gets overheated too easily. And I even downloaded a program for the Mac for system preferences that makes the max fans go faster and also tells you what temperature the Mac has that doesn't help it like it helps it a bit when its temperature is at 60 degrees Celsius but when it reaches 80 degrees Celsius it doesn't help at all so that's my only beef with the Mac talking about the Mac because I saw a lot of Mac related videos lately from a channel called Wukos Media. I, I like Wukos is an awesome channel. It's just totally awesome. It has great animation, it has great discussions, really intelligent discussions. And I like it a lot. It really makes me think. And it's entertaining. I mean, the animations are very entertaining. They have Let's Plays as well. Speaking of Let's Plays, I've been wanting... I wanted to do a Let's Play for a long time, but... I never had the chance because... I couldn't get a screen recorder for my Mac, and then... After a while, I, saw, I stopped being lazy looked up some information and I, after like six months of wanting a screen recorder, I finally got one. And now I'm doing what I always wanted to do, uh, let's play. Hopefully in the future I can get a screen recorder for my Mac, and I, I mean like a screen recorder so it, um, 
like what I mean is uh I'm just trying to think of the words my train of thought is kind of went poof. Something that will record my Mac screen. I've heard of QuickTime Pro. I'm probably gonna get that. It's not the best thing, but at least I'll record my screen. And from there I can do other Let's Plays. <laughs> like, uh, I wanted to do a Let's Play of Super Mario. Mario and Luigi Superstar Sega. And I can do that using an emulator and a ROM and a screen recorder for my Mac. So, yeah, that's another idea for a Let's Play. Actually, I'm... I'm gonna see what you guys want. I'm gonna see what... I'm gonna, after I'm done SSX3, I'm gonna take a poll of what other people want for me to do a Let's Play of, because I have a few choices that I want to do, but I'm not sure which ones to do. But, yeah. Um... What else? Lately, on my account, YouTube account, I've been favoriting a lot of musics from video games and other stuff. And lately, it's hard to find any funny videos. Like, there's some YouTube poops, but there's so many YouTube poops out there that it's... I, I don't want to look through them all. Oh, by the way, I'm a YouTube poop fan, if you haven't already realized. They're just so funny and so entertaining for me, and they make me smile and laugh every time. So, if I find a good YouTube poop, I'll watch it. It's and I'll it's it'll prob it makes my day. It truly does. It's something that you can't really make by just doing like recording your own stuff it's something special it's a mashup of different stuff and it's it's just unique uh, yeah I, I about the favorite thing I like music and I haven't found a program good enough to do my own music yet like there's garage band but I feel as if I need my own instruments to make songs and I don't have my own instruments there's a built-in keyboard thing with garage band but I don't know how to use that either I just wish I could get a simpler program for recording music because I do I constantly get ideas for music but I'm not sure if I'm able to use it I tried FL Studio, it's not compatible with Mac. It's, I, I, I just gotta find something, because... On Wukos Media, the channel, they they do... They chose a Mac in one of their videos, and it has a ton of programs, and they say that they use these programs that makes music and creates pictures and animations and I, I plan to do that in the future if I can just find the right program I mean I don't do intensive research on the program but it doesn't really matter like if I really want something I'll really search for it <laughs> I've heard of Photoshop but I'm um, not searching for that too much. I'm just gonna get an animator and I'm done. But anyways, uh, that was my weekly discussion thing. Not weekly, but the whenever I want to discussion. And I think I'm done for now. That's all I wanted to say. Hopefully you thought it was interesting. So uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.